Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cody again, and today I'm gonna show you how to get ending three in our secret below. Now this one is kind of tricky, but if you know what to do, uh, it's not too hard. So I'm gonna help guide your hand and help you get ending three. So if you guys don't mind dropping a subscribe or a like on the video, in exchange for me taking some time to make this guide for you, I'd appreciate it. If not, that's cool too. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so just to save on time, I've gone ahead and basically replicated what we did for the ending two video. So uh, what we did, I put all of the jumper cards in, including the red one, and then I went ahead and pretty much did all the rest of the puzzles uh, just to get up to the ending. So uh, this is actually where the secret sauce comes into play for ending three. So if you look at this little document right here, this part right here is really what's going to tell you how to get it. So it says access page end block. So if we go into the computer and we type in end block, it's going to play this little animation. And essentially what it's going to do is tell you all the requirements that you need to have in order to get ending three. So it's going to say you need the red jumper card, you need three other jumper cards, you need all four indexes, and then three cassette tapes. So if you played the game uh, and gotten ending one and two, you should have at least uh, two indexes. The one index just for getting ending one. Uh, the second index that I told you to grab right there. Um, if you didn't grab it, then grab that one. Um, and then there's a third index that appears in this cabinet. So in order to get into this cabinet, you're actually going to need a key. And there's five different places that the key can spawn. So I'll go ahead and show you where they can spawn. So depending on your seat of the game, uh, can either spawn in behind this picture right here, the dogs. Can either spawn on this clock, which it is not can also spawn here on this door, which it is not. Um, it can also spawn on this little box right there, which it did for me. So that's four places. I just have to inspect it and grab that there. Um, and then the last place that can actually spawn is on this little cookie tin thing. So uh, any of those five spots, the key can spawn. So if you haven't gotten the third index, then make sure to watch index one and two. And then once you have uh, index one or two, I'm not sure which one it is, but if you watch one or one or two of them or both of them, then the third index will spawn right there. And then you can go ahead and add that to your index collection. The last index that you need is actually inside this safe on top of the washer and dryer. So um, if you looked and actually watched through the indexes on the main menu, then you would see all the clues to show you where the indexes are. So if you saw, you could see the captor messing around over here. And so now, after you've watched that index, you can see that this is actually something that you can interact with. So this is a little puzzle. Uh, go ahead, take out your phone, take a picture of it, and I'll walk you through it. So the first one is uh, the bullet board or whatever you want to call it and it's something circled in the middle. So let's go check out which post-it is circled. So if you look here, this post-it, this symbol is circled. So if you look at your phone, or in this case, we'll actually just go back. It's like a little rectangle that's circled, right? So we're gonna go back over here, look at this, please. Look at this. And then, okay, so the diagonal rectangle is actually right there. So it's gonna be the bottom left number, and that's gonna be the first one. So 10 is gonna be our first number. So. This is going to differ for you because there's different seeds, but for this instance, that's going to be our first number. So it's going to be 10. And then on the drawer right over here, it's going to be our second number, which just so happens to be 50. So our number is 1050. The third number is on the bust. I'm just looking down at the picture we took on our phone. Uh, you can just repeat what we're doing here. The third number is 70. So let me actually write this down because I'm going to forget. All right, and then the fourth number says it's on a cinder block. So that cinder block is actually the one that is located over here. Is it, I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. This one says 80. So our fourth number is going to be 80. And then the last number is just straight up going to be 90 because that's what it says in the picture. So let's go ahead and input that into the safe. So let's see, we have 10. I don't think it really matters what um, direction you do it in. I'm just going to do it like a typical padlock, but I don't think it matters. Um, I haven't ran it into any issues with it, but just do it normally how you normally would with a padlock. And there we go. We got it open. So now inside, you're going to get your first uh, you're going to get your first tape and then you're also going to get the index. So I already got the index and you can't really do it unless I delete all of my progress and everything. Um, so 
that's why you don't see it but you're gonna have your fourth index there so that's all four indexes we already got the jumper cards and the red jumper card so now you just got to collect the three cassette tapes so this is the first one uh, if you watch the index it would give you a clue but it shows you that there's like uh, five, I think, different rectangles, and those rectangles symbolize these different floorboards here. And so it's actually, I think, the fifth or fourth uh, one in. And if you look up here, there's actually another cassette tape. So that's two cassette tapes out of three. And then the very last cassette tape is actually located right back in this little hole. Because in the the index, it showed a little little like kind of video of where it was. So it's actually located right over here. So now that you have all three cassette tapes, you can't just finish the game. You have to actually listen to all three of the cassette tapes. So I'm going to let these run through. Charles has shoved his way into my personal life like he always does. I don't want him here for this. He knows something's wrong. Now he wants to know exactly what, so he's helping me bring in equipment. I told him I didn't want him around, but I need everything I can get. A good friend, and I can't let him be a part of this. Inventory log, four cranial shields, six ocular sensors, two trunk housings, seven months. Hey, you have gone way too far. I knew it was some strange shit down here, but nothing like this. I don't need any judgment from you. You brought yourself into this. I only helped you to make sure I didn't get screwed over once I knew you were up to something. This is gonna land us both in deep shit. This has to stop now. She cannot leave. She's not leaving. Okay. None have ever left. Jesus Christ, there's been others? Nothing is going to happen to you. She has four hours for everything to finish, and then she's gone. Now, you're going to get out of my face, leave my house, and not speak to me about this again. Are we clear? You're a goddamn psychopath. the remaining parts manually. They fired me today. They can't pin anything to me directly, but they built a collection of reasons to let me go. I confess to enough of the right kind of things to be sure Charles would be safe from any finger pointing. I could still live here. I don't know if I have everything I need, but I have no choice. Alright, so once you listen to all three tapes, um, just go ahead and complete the game like normal. So we're gonna go ahead and put in this, uh, put in this little number. And then that should trigger ending three. So I'll take off my webcam, uh, right before the ending starts in case you were here for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want more horror, uh, game tutorials or walkthroughs or anything else related to this game, just let me know and I'll make a video for you. So, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one, my dudes. Hello, Nia. Not who you were expecting? I know you've been here a lot, but I think it's time we had a little talk. I wanted to thank you for ending your own suffering, for ending mine, for finally fixing the mistake Vashan made. V knew from the start that he could never bring me back. He really was a kind and loving person, but when I was diagnosed, he lost control. I was alone for so long, and I missed him so much. I think he only started to see that once he realized he would lose us forever. But he did what he always does. 
he turned to work to push away his feelings. He thought he could give me a new life, but even in my last moments, he couldn't stop. I knew he was doing it out of love, but he destroyed his life over it. I think once he saw you wake up and that you were something completely different, he got scared. He tried to control you. My consciousness may have been a roadmap for your index, but you aren't me. He thought he could force his wife out of a completely different person. You're not human, Nia. I don't know if you're not a person. You've never been given the chance. You're the only real thing left in this place filled with all the things that can make someone who they are. So how do you know you aren't a person? Well, I think it's time to find out. I think it's time to leave. I don't know what the world is like out there, Nia, but I know it's going to be difficult. You are something no one has seen before, and every part of you is stolen. Biomass Labs will certainly have an interest in you if they find you, and you'll be a slave all over again. It's time to leave the dead, Nia. You've suffered enough. Go be alive. Hey you! Yeah, you! Thanks for making it to the end of the video! Clearly if you made it to the end, you've already hit the like button. Oh wait? You haven't? Oh, go ahead. I'll wait. Ah, sweet. Thanks my man. Might as well head over and hang out with us live on Twitch too, so go head on over and I'll see you there.